In the opening scene, we are introduced to a professional diver named Jonas Taylor and his team, who are in the middle of a rescue mission. They are trying to save the crew of a nuclear submarine that has been destroyed. Jonas succeeds in getting some of them on board, including a doctor named Heller. But at the same time, an unidentified creature starts attacking the sub violently. With some of his crew trapped inside the damaged submarine, Jonas is forced to make a tough decision. Against Dr. Heller's objections, he abandons the trapped members, realizing that attempting a rescue would lead to certain death for all. They narrowly escape just in time as the unseen force obliterates the wrecked submarine. The scene then cuts to five years later, taking us to an underwater research facility named Mana One, located off the coast of China. The project is funded by a billionaire named Jack Morris and is spearheaded by a Chinese guy named Dr. Minwei Zhang, alongside his oceanographer daughter, Su Yin. One day, Morris arrives at Mana One on his private helicopter and is welcomed by Dr. Zhang, who then gives him a tour of the facility. He meets several team members, including the engineer, Jax, the earlier survivor, Dr. Heller, the remote explorer named DJ, and the station chief, Mac. Their mission is to explore the concealed, potentially deepest area of the Marianas Trench, surrounded by the hydrogen sulfide thermocline. The submersible mission is piloted by scientists named Toshi, the Wall, and Jonas his ex-wife, Lori. Initially, their exploration goes well, as they discover an abundance of previously unknown flora and fauna beneath the thermocline. They even dispatch a scouting rover for further investigation of the area. However, their mission takes a perilous turn when they are unexpectedly attacked by a massive, unidentified creature, causing them to lose communication with Mana One control room. The crew try getting power back up and running, but they are attacked again. This time, Lori sustains a severe injury from a screwdriver being stabbed into her abdomen. God damn it, I knew we shouldn't have brought screwdrivers. At Mana One, the rest of the crew members hold an urgent meeting to discuss the rescue of the stranded crew. They recognize the need for someone capable of navigating six miles deep into the ocean. Mac can think of no one other than Jonas for the task. So he suggests his name, emphasizing that he is the only one who can rescue people from such a deep, dangerous area of the ocean. However, Dr. Heller and Su Yin object to the idea, fearing that Jonas may be mentally unstable due to his traumatic past and his claims about unusual ocean phenomena. Despite their objections, Mr. Zhang overrules and decides to hire Jonas for the mission. Mental instability might also mean he knows how to throw grenades off of sea dews and shit. In the next scene, Mr. Zhang and Mac waste no time and travel by helicopter to Thailand, where Jonas now lives a reclusive life. He is now a drunken loner who spends most of his days in a Taiwanese bar drinking regularly. Mac and Dr. Zhang meet with him in his small apartment room. At first, he tries to avoid the rescue mission, rejecting any monetary incentives. However, he changes his mind after hearing a taped recording of Lori, her crew, and the situation at Mana One. Meanwhile, back at Mana One, Su Yin takes matters into her own hands and decides to attempt the rescue using a mini-sub. Shortly after her departure, Jonas arrives at the facility and heads directly to the rescue sub. Inside, he encounters Su Yin's daughter, who expresses her concerns about her mother's safety. Jonas assures her that he will bring her back unharmed. Shortly after, the crew in the control room performs final checks before giving Jonas the green light. He then takes a deep breath and courageously dives into the deep abyss. In the meantime, Su Yin manages to locate the trapped submersible and prepares to tow it back to the surface. However, at the same time, she faces an attack from a colossal squid. Before the squid can crush her mini-sub, it is killed by a 75-foot-long prehistoric shark known as a megalodon. This particular shark is the same one Jonas encountered five years ago, which finally provides an undeniable proof of his sanity and the existence of such creatures. It makes a noise like like this. <laughs> Moments before the Megalodon launches an attack on Su Yin, Jonas lures the shark away with some flares, enabling Su Yin to escape safely to the surface. After this, Jonas connects his submersible to the stranded one and successfully rescues Lori and the wall. However, the Megalodon returns for another assault. So, Toshi sacrifices himself to help the others escape, stuffing a goodbye letter into the wall's pocket. It reads, I am Toshi, and I was given 
no character development in this movie. Goodbye. In the aftermath of all of this, Dr. Heller offers a sincere apology to Jonas for doubting his earlier claims. The following day, the crew discovers that the Megalodon, also known as Meg, belongs to a prehistoric shark species once considered to be extinct. As their discussion unfolds, the crew members realize that the situation isn't over yet, as the temporary breach in the thermocline has allowed the shark to access normal ocean waters on the surface. While deliberating on how to tackle this new threat, Su Yin's daughter, who is playing with an RC ball in Mana One's underwater tunnels, is frightened by the terrifying sight of the shark. It goes like this. Hello. It attempts to breach the facility's hull, but the structure withstands the attack, and the shark departs after killing a small whale. It just wanted to flex a little. In order to address the problem, the crew resolves to track Meg and kill it with poison. After the Megalodon destroys three nearby shark fin fishing ships, Jonas courageously dives into the water to attach a tracking device to the shark. He manages to swim close enough to it before tagging the device onto its fin. With this, the rest of the crew members start to reel him back, which causes some vibrations, alerting Meg. Fortunately, they start the boat and manage to get Jonas back just in the nick of time. Blimey, says Jonas. As the next part of their plan, Su Yin descends into a shark-proof tank in order to administer poison to Meg, while the others use chum to lure the shark close. Initially attracting regular sharks, the bait eventually brings Meg to the scene. Su Yin attempts to target its eye with the poisonous dart, but the gigantic megalodon drags her, as well as the boat, away. Despite this life-threatening confrontation, Su Yin manages to shoot the poison dart into Meg's mouth. But, unfortunately, this only agitates the large predator, and it attempts to swallow the entire cage. Although the cage is unbreakable, the impact results in a cracked oxygen mask for Su Yin, putting her at risk of oxygen depletion. Sensing the urgency of the situation, Jonas dives into the water to rescue her. The rest of the crew bait Meg to distract it, buying Jonas some time to free Su Yin. Shortly after, Meg again heads back to Jonas and Su Yin. But before it can harm them, the effects of the poison take hold and finally kill it. After this, Jonas quickly brings Su Yin back aboard, and Dr. Heller manages to resuscitate her back to life. The crew then celebrates their success, and the wall takes pictures with the dead Meg. In a playful prank, the other crew members make him believe the shark is still alive. <laughs> PTSD. Startling him for a moment and causing him to fall into the water. Amidst this celebration, Jonas observes that the shark's teeth are smaller than the one they encountered earlier. Shortly Shortly after, his assumption proves to be true, as the real Meg emerges from the depths and swallows the wall. It then grabs the younger Megalodon's corpse off the boat, causing it to capsize. In the ensuing chaos, everyone is thrown into the water, and Mr. Zhang is critically injured. While some of the crew members manage to regroup on the ship, Jax and Dr. Heller are still far away. The Megalodon circles back, and in a brave sacrifice, Dr. Heller distracts the shark, drawing its attention away from Jax. She is is brutally killed, but at least she manages to save her crew. Following this, the surviving crew members manage to grab the floating motorboats and make their escape, while Morris calls for backup. Not long after, a helicopter arrives at the scene and successfully drives the shark away with a series of gunfire. Tragically, Mr. Zhang succumbs to his injuries during the journey back to Mana One, which leaves his daughter devastated. Later that night, at Mana One, Su Yin mourns for her father's death, while Jonas attempts to console her. The next day, Morris gathers everyone in the control room to make an announcement. He claims to have informed the Chinese governments about the Megalodon, stating that they don't have to risk their lives anymore. Furthermore, he announces that Mana One will be shutting down until the threat is eradicated. However, it turns out that he's lying about the government involvement and that he has actually hired a mercenary team to kill the shark using depth charges. That team hasn't got balls on Statham, and they're dead for sure. Later that night, Morris and some other officers take a boat, while a helicopter drops depth charges to kill Meg. Their attempt initially seems to be successful, but they mistakenly blow up a whale instead. Upon having a closer look, Morris realizes their error and promptly orders the team to retreat. But unfortunately, during their escape, Morris is knocked off the boat and becomes the Megalodon's next victim. Later on, the crew learns of Morris's deceit and decides to take matters into their own hands, determined to eliminate the Megalodon themselves. In the next scene, the crew finds out that the Megalodon is heading towards a densely populated Sanya Beach in China. In order to safeguard the people, the crew devises a plan. They decide to lure the shark away from the beach using whale noise recordings and then attack it with torpedoes from their mini-subs. However, before 
before they can execute their plan, Meg attacks a Chinese wedding party on a boat and seemingly eats the bride's dog. Meg is reinforcing a bad stereotype before terrorizing the locals at the beach. It also devours several beachgoers, sending everyone into a state of panic. A short while later, the Mana One crew uses a whale call and diverts the shark's attention towards them. Jonas and Su Yin take their positions in the mini sub to confront Meg as the giant shark shows up. Jonas firstly attracts it towards him and leads it towards Su Yin, who then hits it with a torpedo. Unfortunately, <laughs> it does no harm to the shark. <laughs> says the shark. In the midst of this chaos, a group of news helicopters try to film the event, but stupidly end up crashing into each other, and the wreckage crashes onto the crew's boat, prompting everyone to jump into the water. This forces Su Yin to break off the fight and prioritize the rescue of her crew members. Meanwhile, Jonas, alone with his damaged torpedo, engages in a head-on confrontation with the Megalodon. He courageously fights and even manages to inflict a significant wound on its underbelly. Despite this, Meg retaliates and begins to eat up Jonas's mini-sub. With no options left, our hero decides to abandon his mini-sub, so he grabs a knife and a spear and swims out to face the shark directly. Give me a best shot, mate, says Jonas. He stabs the spear into Meg's eye, causing the creature to bleed heavily. This attracts a swarm of regular sharks, and they devour the weakened megalodon alive. Just when it appears as if the danger is over, a whale suddenly arrives at the scene, seemingly to prey on Jonas. But Su Yin intervenes in the nick of time and rescues him. With the threat now eliminated, Jonas and Su Yin reunite with the rest of the Mana One crew on a passing wedding boat. In the aftermath, Jonas considers taking a vacation with Su Yin, indicating their romantic interest in each other. The movie ends with the crew celebrating their victory as the oceans are now safe. Until the second movie, coming soon to theaters near you. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for